Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me today. My name is Adam Simone, Director of Marketing for Bluebell Technologies. And we are uh, commercializing the next generation in robotic-assisted orthopedic surgical devices. And what we've done is kind of turn it on its head from the, what exists today, that concept of an industrial-style robotic arm uh, performing surgery where a surgeon steps back and presses a button. I mean, you don't want that to happen. So what we've done is we've taken the, the power of robotics, the results, the precision and the accuracy, and we've put in that back into the tools that are in surgeons' hands. So osteoarthritis. Everyone knows what that is, right? It's the breakdown in cartilage in your joints. The bone on bone begins to rub. You have pain and swelling and stiffness and comorbidities associated with that uh, loss of function. It's a terrible degenerative disease that in the US affects more than 19 million Americans. That's one out of every 16 people. Now, treatment options available for osteoarthritis, specifically for the knee, range from the non-surgical uh, to the surgical, and today we're going to talk about surgical treatment for OA. And there's two primary buckets there, total knee replacement, of which there are more than 400,000 of those performed every year in the U.S., and partial knee replacement, a much smaller but rapidly growing market in surgical treatment for osteoarthritis. Patients who receive partial knee replacement, they typically leave their surgery with less pain lower risks of complication, quicker rehabilitation, smaller incisions, and increasingly so, especially in the current reimbursement uh, paradigm, they're done on an outpatient basis. So instead of going into the hospital, you can go into a small surgery center and get a partial knee replacement, um, get rid of your pain, gain your function back, and get out the door the next day. Walk without assisted devices within four or five days, and after a short rehabilitation, you're pain-free and walking without a limp. It's really, it's a remarkable surgery. However, partial knee replacements are only performed on average around 6 to 7 percent of the case volume in the U.S. Uh, compared to total knee replacements, whereas the literature suggests that the number should be closer to 25 to 35 percent. So why aren't partial knee replacements being performed more often? Well, they suffer from uh, a significant problem, as you suggest. 25 percent of these don't last longer than seven years. And that's in comparison to total knee replacements, which have a survivorship of 90 to 95 percent at 15 to 20 years out. And that's a significant difference. So there's a lot of hesitation in performing partial knees uh, because even though they, su they have a high degree of patient satisfaction, they suffer from this low survivorship. So why are they failing? There's a lot of reasons that go into partial knee replacement failure, but what specifically is important to us at Blue Belt Technologies is the accuracy of implantation significantly affects whether uh, a component, a prosthetic that's implanted in your knee, is going to survive more than seven years or fail. And here you see what a good-looking partial knee replacement looks like. We've got two components that are well aligned in relation to each other. You have ligaments like your MCL, uh, and I'm sure everyone's heard of that, is well tensioned during the surgery. And this allows the components to take advantage of the mechanical properties that are designed into them. And this is what a bad looking implantation looks like. These components are malaligned. And what that's going to do is cause, it's going to cause them to wear out early, fail, subside into the bone, cause comorbidities, and ultimately require revision surgery. Partial knee replacement is really, it's an excellent surgery for those who are properly indicated. It's just so hard to get right. Surgeons are working through small incisions. They're working with the contralateral compartment completely intact. It's a difficult technique, and instrumentation is 20 years old. When it goes wrong, it's easy to spot. These are x-rays of malpositioned, manually instrumented partial knees from uh, one of our KOL surgeons, who's one of the best surgeons in the country, and he was surprised to find out the variability, uh, the outliers that occurred radiographically with his results when he was manually instrumenting his partial knee replacements. And he thought, this is such a great surgery, there's got to be a better way. And that's where Blue Belt's offering comes into play. What we're bringing to the table into the orthopedic OR is handheld robotic-assisted tools that are run by computer uh, navigation. So on the, uh, the video plane in there on the upper left, what you see is a, a high-speed burr, which is uh, moving around 80,000 RPM and sculpting away bone. And it's only going to sculpt away the bone that is damaged. And it's not going to take away any more bone than is required. And it's going to allow components to be implanted with a high degree of accuracy. And our system is controlling the exposure of that burr beyond this passive guard in real time. We ping the location about 30 times a second, and we adjust that to the surgeon's motions.
And so this tool is in that surgeon's hand, and he's achieving extremely precise results on the order of one millimeter, of, uh, less than a millimeter, and less than a degree of, of error associated with the implantation. During a surgery, the surgeon uses our computer navigation to reconstruct a three-dimensional image of the patient's anatomy. And then he takes that image and is able to plan the location of these implants before he even makes a single bone cut. He can picture his x-ray before even uh, making the incision into the bone for the patient. And then he takes our handheld robotic tool and he uses that to execute the surgical plan. It's like coloring in the lines, mowing your lawn. If you can follow the colors, it won't make a mistake. And the results, it goes in perfect every time. To date, we launched this in the US in, in 2013 with a soft launch to gather some clinical data, performed over 400 cases, and we have 20, actually, uh, in the last few days since making this slide deck, we've installed two more systems, 22 systems worldwide, 17 in the US and five overseas. Average surgical time is 60 minutes, right in line with traditional instrumentation. Our short-term functional scores show significant improvement in patients from pre-op to post-op, as well as alignment. And our radiographic results are pristine, exactly as we would expect. Now, the company behind this technology is Blue Belt. We're based in Minneapolis, but we have a robust R&D team just down the road from Carnegie Mellon. Technology came out of the Robotics Institute in the 2000s, and interestingly enough, we're the first spinoff from CMU's tech transfer to receive FDA clearance, which we got in December of 2012, and since then have launched our own proprietary implant, which provides us a very nice razor, razor blade model. There's, there's 75 employees supporting this company uh, worldwide with a uh, ramp up to uh, 96 by the end of the year. We have a broad and deep intellectual prop property portfolio, which protects us in this, in this space, and we're really a truly unique offering uh, in orthopedic surgery. Our sales pipeline is also broad and deep. With 10 direct salespeople uh, on the street in the last four quarters, we've grown our pipeline to more than 170 systems and greater than 55 million uh, in revenue. We've hit quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth and revenue targets uh, since launching in the US. And beyond that, we're really very excited by uh, a, a broad and, again, deep uh, portfolio of uh, application pipeline. And we really truly believe that our technology can be the kind of system that rolls into an operating room and performs a bevy of surgeries from uh, patellofemoral joint replacement, which is currently pending 510K review with the FDA, to an instrumented free total knee replacement, which can really re potentially revolutionize um, uh, management of materials from the uh, manufacturer's side, as well as providing surgeons with the same results that we can on the partial knee. And then something we're really very excited about, a solution in hip arthroscopy, a minimally invasive solution to treat a disease called femoroacetabular impingement, which has been noted by the a Academy of Orthopedic Surgery as one of the fastest growing procedures in orthopedics. And we can be a first to market technology solution to provide robotics for very precise reshaping of bone and returning patients to uh, pain, uh, pain free lives and uh, mobility that they had before. And so anyways, I wanted to thank you for uh, hearing me for these uh, eight or nine, 10 minutes. Hope I didn't go over and I'd be happy to answer any questions afterwards if you wanna hear more about the company or the product.